Welcome back, everybody. Uh, there are a few things, like, uh, by the way, since I release these on Tuesday, I'm pretty sure Vault Tech will be out, so maybe next week there might be some mods for Vault Tech. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Uh, but I do have four mods, and I don't know how I'm actually going to show one of them off. Uh, I might just hunt down some children to show you what the changes to those were. Uh, or... I might do something fancy. I don't know yet. Uh, I, I honestly don't. Uh, but what I do want to say is uh, the mod right now that you're seeing, that is called the Gunslinger Outfit for CBB by Eleonora. You should go check out the page. There's actually a link. Eleonora's entered herself into a uh, NVIDIA Fallout 4 mod contest, and you might want to try supporting her a bit. Because... She's got the faction housing up for the uh, entry. But on to this one, as I have already said, this is the Gunslinger outfit, uh, CBBE, and like I said, by Eleonora. And just like everything Eleonora does, it is high quality. There is no laziness whatsoever in like the design. I mean, just watch. The, the bottom of the coat is actually moving in like the breeze. Which is actually pretty cool because everything else, like if you were to get like another mod that had a coat like this, it would just be like stagnant. It wouldn't move. So she's actually put a lot of effort into this and a lot of detail. So if this is something that you would like to get, then by all means get it. Although I do still not understand why there's kunai. <laughs> well, other than that, this mod is awesome. And if you're wondering how, if you can get one without the 111 on the back, she says no. And if you're wondering if you can get one that's non CB, like CBBE version, she said, she says when she's got energy to do that. So, <laughs> it, it, if you're trying to do it for like your own purposes, you might just want to get the CBBE body slide and switch it to vanilla. Just saying, uh, not really condoning it though, because she might actually release a vanilla version. Just give her some time, because she does a lot of projects, so just give her some time. But this thing is awesome. Uh, the actual outfit itself you can buy in the Fallon's Basement Store in uh, Diamond City. And the hat, she said that you can find it uh, by some dangerous mercenary. I don't know who that's supposed to be, so I just constantly commanded it into my inventory. But it is pretty cool. I mean, it, it, every, there's no scamping. I mean, this thing's got, like, sew marks throughout it. It's, like, stitched together. It, it's just, like, tied on. It is, it, it is just awesome. I mean, you even have the bandana and pair of goggles, for God's sakes. Also, one of my favorite things, the old-time playing cards. She actually looked up old-timey time -like playing cards. That is pretty cool. So a lot of effort and energy went into the making of this particular outfit. And it doesn't have bad stats either. It's got 30 physical damage. I believe it has uh, 10 energy and maybe 15 rad resistance. Or I'm probably switching those around or it's both 15. I forget exactly off the top of my head what it is. But that's enough for this particular mod. And I have another outfit mod which I'm going to be showing you next. So... Let me switch over. And our next uh, outfit mod, as you can see, is actually a pretty cool one. I mean, like, for the sculpting, it is actually amazing. Uh, this is the, C the ZGC Mary Dress CBBE by Zatanic GC. And it adds basically a outfit that you can craft in the mine section of the chemistry workstation of all places. I have no idea why, but that's where it is. And it is highly detailed. I mean, just look at this. Even the boots, for crying out loud. My character would stop walking around in circles. <laughs> I mean, all the little folds and all that thing, all that was actually uh, modeled into the actual outfit itself. So it actually has kind of depth. It, ha it looks like it's actually sitting on the character's body itself. And it moves actually with the character to an extent. So, this is actually 
pretty cool. So if this is something that you'd be interested in, by all means, go download it. And for our next mod is the CWSS Redux Craftable Working Showers, Sinks, Baths, Toilets, Urinals, etc. Literally, it says etc. Uh, by Steve40 and Flip Dizzy, and it does exactly what it says it does. Uh, you get sinks, you can use the sinks. Of course, the mirrors, you can't really use it unless you get the other mod that I've showed in the past, which allows you to use it and access the uh, looks menu. So, it might actually work together with this. So, it might be actually a pretty good thing to have if you get if you want a fully working bathroom. Uh, everything that you see here, th this is just a fraction of it, seriously. Uh, th this is just the private stuff. Like, the, like, some of the private stuff. Like, all the stuff that's in the private section is also in the... Uh, uh, basically the station section. And for some reason, robots will use the showers. I don't get that. But the, uh, you know, like the toilet and the toilet paper dispenser, two separate things. But you could stick it on, side of the, on the side of the, uh, you know, the toilet, which is awesome. The showers work. But the soap dispenser itself, like the... That's new. <laughs> But, uh, like, the wall hanger for the soap, that's actually a separate piece as well from the rest of the shower. Same thing with the shower curtains. You can actually change the shower curtain design if you wanted to by uh, just basically removing the shower curtain and placing a new one on. Uh, I do not suggest putting shower curtains all the way around because then you'll get trapped inside. The uh, towel rack is also another etc. piece. And if I go in here, there's another different type of sink. This is one of the public showers. The urinals will always look disgusting and gross. I don't know why, but, you know, that's, that's just how it is. And again, we just have another type of, you know, stainless steel kind of uh, toilet. Same different kind of shower, different kind of shower curtain, and stainless steel sink. If you were to go into the actual... Uh, building mode, you would find that there's actually a miscellaneous section just for this mod. A, uh, a pretty much a bath and shower section, and a sink, sink the tongue twisters. Uh, a sink section as well. Yay, I did it! <laughs> so, there's going to be four sections for the, uh, the, the sinks, a, uh, I think there might be like toilets too. Another one for the showers and bathtubs. So if it's something that you're interested in, then by all means go for it. And it does give you like a clean feeling message that pops up. So it, it is another way to make settlers happy too, I believe. So if you're going for the all elusive last the like, achievement for the excelments, then this is going to be something that you're going to want to get. Alright, and to our last mod. And as I said, this last one is going to be a overhaul for the children. This is A Nice Oak Tree's Diverse Children by A Nice Oak Tree. And as you can see, we got you Nat in front of us. Public. And she doesn't look anything like the Nat that we used to know. She's got you know, a different face, the slightly different face, that's uh, more in tune with Pipers, and a completely different hairstyle. You this is just one of the kids that uh, this mod affects. It actually affects every single child in the Commonwealth. All of them. All of them. They took the time to actually change up all the kids. And as you can see, Ain't they don't... Nothing better to do? Uh, if I can just get her to stop walking around. As you can see, they, they pretty much uses a uh, hair pack that is, well, Commonwealth Cuts. Along with, uh, well, some of the other mods that might actually exist and roll them into one and use them on the kids to make the kids look a whole lot more aesthetically pleasing than, well, what Bethesda's known for. You know carbon copy kids <laughs> so 
each each child in the game is going to have their own unique look and each child is going to have their own unique hairstyle if you want to see the full list then i highly suggest that you check out the mod page and the uh, link will be in the description below until then uh if you have anything that you'd like to check out or like me to uh, review then leave a uh, suggestion in the comments and i'll try getting to check those out take care and see you next week bye bye